Uh, hi guys welcome back to another reaction if you're a new subscriber here hi welcome thank you so much for subscribing and if this is your first time of seeing my channel i'm sarah i'm a nigerian living in germany in my channel you find content about germany pro reviews and a lot of reaction videos so if you're into that kind of content please do consider subscribing so guys i'm back again with another reaction today i will be having a collaboration with Ebony and Ivory. Hi guys, it's Ebony and Ivory. Yo, what's up? I'll be introducing them to the band Yes, which I recently just found. I've only listened to two of your songs, which was Close to the Edge and You and Me. They've never heard the song, they've never heard of this band, but today we'll be introducing them to the band. Let's get their mind blown. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah Dingler, for hosting us today. We're excited to be here with you. <laughs> And as Sarah said, we've not listened to Yes. I maybe heard the name of the band at some point. I've never experienced any of their music. So Me let's just uh, join Sarah and see what this is all about. And to the song, Awaken. Without further ado, let's get straight to the video. Are you ready, guys? Sounds like a classical music. Mm-hmm. What a start. Mm. Wow. Mm. It's a professional play there. It's creating the tension here. Nice. It's nice. It works. To the sun, let my heart dreaming. Fast as mortal as me. Where can I be? Wish the sun. Stereo. Nice guitar sound and drums as well. Mm. Bass, wow. <laughs> Bass and drums remind me of a band called Goblin. They did a lot of music for horror movies, I think in the 70s and 80s. Cool, nice guitar. Nice guitar player. Huh? Oh! Wow! <laughs> wow! Oh my god! 
Those sounds remind me of the band Goblin mm. and the bass. Well, wow, it's cool. I love that sound. Mm. Mm. Okay. The rhythm does change again. The structure of the song is quite... I like this. Yeah, it's complicated. You cannot figure out the rhythm, like it breaks a lot of like uh, barriers. Kind of here reminds me of a church. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Huh. It almost feels like another song is starting. Yeah. What is happening?
organs. Reminds me of like church. That's how the song started. Yeah, kind of just like the different tracks. Guys, <laughs> what do you think? I'm going to let you guys speak first. So, what do you guys think about this? Wow, lots of instrumental, a lot, and some parts of it actually reminded me of the church, <laughs> the piano especially, and um, the way it was played kind of took me back to, you know, church. And that was a lot of instrumental play there. It's 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 kind of it's kind of a music that you would want to just um, relax and listen to, or if you want to put yourself to sleep like um, at night, mm -hmm. you just let it play and then just sways you away, <laughs> you know, to dreamland. And it's it's a kind of chill song, <laughs> to be precise. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember I, I always like to listen to music, you know, falling asleep. This is the kind of song I would actually listen to you know, to put me to you know sleep and all so it's a very long play <laughs> and uh, you just need to close your eyes if possible and um let the music you know feel the music let it sink in in all in general the song the, the music the play the instrumental was awesome for me i think like wow this is just this is just out of this world this is just phenomenal like this is another masterpiece listening i've this is another masterpiece from this band their lyrics they have a way of writing their songs it's not like straightforward 
there's always a message hidden inside. It's like always very poetic. So it's very easy to, you know, like not get, and also very easy to get, if you know what I mean. Once it started playing properly, when the bass came in, the drums, they were also using kind of like an organ, organs, kind of. It reminded me really of a band called Goblin. They used to do a lot of soundtracks for horror movies. I think probably like in 70s, late 70s, I think. The way the bass sounded, the drums sounded, um, it, it's cool. And even like the melodies um, reminded me of that. Mm. Now the band itself, like the, the song was very long. So it's definitely not something like you would hear on the radio. And as you said, I think it's something that like you kind of chillax, you, you know, lay on the sofa and relax and just listen to this type of music, like on your headphones, kind of relax and enjoy it. It's even difficult for me to kind of categorize the song, like, or the band, you know. And anyway, this is the only song we've heard from them. Mm. So I can only base it on that song. It was really, really cool. Lots of pattern changes, different, you know, different instruments kind of were taking lead at different parts, which I really, really liked. Uh, very relaxing song, I would say, even though it wasn't like very slow, but, you know, it, it was somehow very soothing. As you said, something that like, even like going to bed, if you want to relax. Hearing this song, I would think or imagine more kind of like being in space, mm. somewhere kind of in outer space, you know, uh, something like that. I don't know. It's just this kind of like what the music invoked in me when I was hearing it. This song is just the instrumentals, the voice and everything is just phenomenal. It's, it's just phenomenal. At some point I got lost inside. I got lost inside that whole thing happening. I got lost inside. It's like I was like, if I felt like I was in another planet. <laughs> I felt like I was in another planet trying to witness something. Just didn't quite get there. This song has like a lot of um, a twist and turns, and there's a lot of transitioning from one stage to another. And it's like the image on the photo. There's it's like this uh, the, uh, the thumbnail on this is like the image in the song. You know, with this red line that goes like, and then there's this white light line that went like. <laughs> yeah, so the song is the song is somewhat like that. It's very interesting to do a reaction to music only as well, even though the you know I was looking at the cover of the um, of the album. Yeah. But you know you kind of you were more concentrating on music and just taking the music in instead of also seeing like the music video, which changes like the, the whole dynamic a little bit. Mm. Um, and uh, you know, talking about the cover, I was just kind of like wondering what what they were trying to say because the cover to me looked like there was like a guy that was like naked standing in front of like skyscrapers. Yeah. And I was thinking like, what does it mean? And and to me, like, the thing that came to my head was like a David and Goliath, for some reason. <laughs> you know, it was like a little small man, you know, like totally naked without anything against like a big, tall, concrete buildings, man-made concrete jungle. So the lyrics are not very straightforward. So um, I don't quite, I don't quite get, I don't quite get the meaning of the song, but I think, I think it's about spirituality and awakening to like another perspective or something. It's not very clear. I can't like, it's not very clear. That voice, sounds a bit familiar i'm not sure if it's <laughs> if i've heard before but it sounded like a voice i've heard I'm not sure this is really terrific this is just phenomenal maybe i'll get the lyrics better if i listen again to it maybe with my second listen because sometimes not if i don't quite catch something from the first listen like the second and third is when i like really grab things that i don't quite catch sometimes so I'm hoping I will get more from the um, comment sections because I'm pretty sure yes, fans are going to be telling us more about this track, Awakening, because it was um, 
suggested a lot. I really feel like the song is about spirituality and awakening. Yeah, this was this was an awesome track. This was this was really terrific. I hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> I hope you guys did. I found the music cool. I like listening to this type of stuff. I think you would like Goblin. Maybe maybe we're gonna react to one of their tracks. They also have kind of like this horror movie undertone as well, because a, a lot of stuff, you know, they played for horror movies. So that would be cool. Many thanks to Sarah for introducing us to the band. Yeah. Uh, I'll definitely check out some of their songs uh, when I have time, probably like when I'm in bed. Chilling. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for the collaboration. I hope to see more of you guys. Thank you for having us. It's nice to you know, spend the time with you. <laughs> Thank you, guys, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, do not forget to give me a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and bye. Thanks and um, bye. See you later.